The first garbage disposal at the Rosewarne landfill in Bracebridge marked the official opening on Wednesday morning. Local dignitaries, including Bracebridge Mayor Graydon Smith, was there to celebrate. Smith says he's proud Bracebridge is part of the solution to bettering waste management in Muskoka. He also says there was a lot of work in looking for a location that dealt with the environmental responsibility and a location that would last a long time. It's uh, in town but out of town, uh, so to speak, uh, for residents, so it's still quite convenient to use, uh, quite convenient to access from all points of Muskoka um, for, the, for the trucks that will be coming here. Um, but really, uh, you know, these are one of the, the tough things that, that communities have a hard time dealing with uh, because no one likes the concept of waste. Uh, and this isn't to embrace that today either, but it's a problem that's got to be dealt with. Uh, so let's do it responsibly. Let's do it with environmental controls in place. Let's do it in a way that we can be proud of uh, and we're solving our own problems uh, in our own place uh, where you see a lot of communities ship it off somewhere else and make it someone else's problem. All of Muskoka's waste will be transferred here to Rosewarne. District Councillor Phil Harding is the chair of the Engineering and Public Works Committee. He says they took specific steps to ensure the protection of Muskoka's groundwater resources. Bottom line is when we create a landfill, it creates leachate as the garbage tends to uh, morph over time. And that leachate can cause damage to the environment and to the water stream and especially downstream. With Bracebridge as such being downstream from here, here. What we've done in this particular landfill is we have a double layer membrane. We could fill this entire landfill with water and it would remain. So we pump the leachate out afterwards and then treat it so that it doesn't get back into the environment. The opening of this landfill couldn't come at a better time. As Smith says, it will solve the capacity issues of the older landfills in the area. The landfill that's in Bracebridge was at capacity a number of years ago, so it's only been acting as a transfer station here for, for quite some time. And, and the waste has actually been going to Gravenhurst uh, to the Byers Road landfill. So all the landfills in Muskoka uh, have reached capacity. Uh, and so it was time uh, to centralize that into one solution so we don't have pockets of environmental uh, issues potentially or uh, you know a more costly solution to, to landfills by having a whole bunch of them. Um, you know, it, it would be very honest. We know that the ones in the past uh, have caused some problems in the areas that we're in uh, back when they were owned municipally. It's one of the reasons the district took over um, solid waste uh, and, and brought a kind of a pan Muskoka perspective to it uh, to make sure that we could apply solutions uh, that work for everybody. Rose Warren will hold waste for at least 25 years. Harding says they will need to discuss the long term plan after those 25 years soon, but in the meantime, they are working on a short-term plan to reduce waste coming to the landfill. Uh, everybody puts in their garbage and they may put that Tim Hortons cup. We want that to make sure it goes into recycling. We want to make sure the plastics go into recycling. We need the actual homeowner and the business to do their sorting before it ends up here in the landfill and that's the greatest way to uh, maximize our landfill. And the goal is to put together a public liaison committee to actually help impact um, what we do here because ultimately it impacts the environment and the communities it's around.